Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you how you can start out if you've never dot mandala painted before. Now I've made a video similar to this before in the past, but I figured it's time that I get back to showing some people that are brand new that want to try it out and don't want to spend a lot of money. So here we are. The thing you will need is you don't really need three colors of paint, but I like to use at least three colors of paint. It doesn't matter what colors you choose. It's whatever you like. Um, but I would recommend getting white so that you can lighten and darken your other two colors. And also, if you're brand new, I would recommend the Deco Art Americana paint because the consistency of them is almost perfect every time you use them. The other brands, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, some are cheaper, some are more expensive. The really expensive kinds are nice, but when you're first starting out, you want to go cheaply. And um, Folk Art and even, oh, what's the other one? Apple Barrel and that. For some reason, their consistency's off most times. So you either have to thicken it or you have to thin it out so that your dots will be perfectly circle. So I would recommend the deco art. Now, I've seen a lot of videos out there with people doing using household items. So that's what this is going to be. Things you can use that are around the house to try dotting. So the only thing that you really need to buy is your paints. Everything else you're going to find around the house. Um, when we do make a design, this is what I'm going to paint on. It's actually a Girl Scout cookie box. And I just cut it into, I think this is 4x4. Four four. Let me measure it real quick. So that is 4x4. Four four. So how I'm going to start out is I'm just going to go around my house and find all different objects that have round tips on them. So like paper clip toothpick this is some random tool of my husband's it's got a pointy end I don't know what it's called let's see a pen you can use both ends you could use this end and you could use this end I got all sorts of different pens. This is an old paintbrush. If you have one laying around the house, you can use this end. My compass, I could use this end. An eraser, different size erasers, even a pen. This is a marker. You can use the end of this. My eye drops, you can use the end of this because it's round. Anything you find in your house. Now, Lydia May, she, oh, I've always seen her do this when I've watched her tutorials, was use a Q-tip and she puts paint on the end of it and swirls it around like that to make it harden. And you can reuse that as well. So I'm going to show you what these dots look like. Just so you can get an idea. Okay. So I'm just going to get some black paint, just so you can see the dots easier. And first I'll use this toothpick. Really nice dots with that. I always just take a paper towel and wipe the tool off. And it doesn't matter if it's dirty on the end like that. It'll just dry. Okay, and then here is the paper clip, which is another small one. And let's go with something a little bit bigger. Let's use
This is just a push pen. I don't know what what brand or anything. It um, doesn't really matter, zebra brand. But I'm going to use this end. I'll show you this eye drops thing, just to, so you can see that you can use really anything. And one got a little off, but my paper is like bowed up for some reason. When I do it on the cardboard, it'll be better. That works very well too. And then of course there's the Q-tip, like I was saying. I let the paint dry on the end of it. And that works really well as, as well. The only thing with this is you got to really watch the way you clean it and the frayed ends and stuff. You kind of have to use your fingers and apply it back down and then let it dry in between. You can also pull the end off of this side. And get all that off if you wanted another size and that works too so that's just some ideas oh I'll show you this one too the sharpie pretty consistent too so let's work on using some of these tools and just make something real quick. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm just using this. This is a cap, a lid to something. You could use a paper plate. You could use just about anything you want. I want to paint the background of this. So to do that, I'm going to pretend like I don't have a paintbrush and I'm going to use black paint. And I'm just going to use a Q-tip. Now if you have a sponge or anything you can use. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this dry. Now, you can make smaller ones of these cardboard things and then glue a magnet or something on the back so that this isn't a waste. This is just practice, though. And I did this a lot when I was first learning. Cereal boxes are a great resource. It warps the cardboard a little bit, but if you just pull up on it like that, it's fine. So now you do need a pencil because you need to find your center point and if you just go side to side to the corner, draw a little line, and you got your center right there in the middle. Now, just for consistency sake, I'm going to use the toothpick, this eraser, and this pen thing. Now, you can use the Q-tip like Lydia May uses if you care to. I don't like the fraying, so I'm not going to use that. But I'm just going to use these three items. So you should be able to find these three items in your house, I would think. And we're just going to do a real simple design. And I'm going to start out with the red, and this is the true red. And I'm going to use this pencil eraser. And then just wipe it off. Now I'm going to go a little smaller with this 
pink tip and I'm going to use the white this is actually cool white and I'm going to do four dots okay now I'm still using white I'm going to use my toothpick and I'm going to walk some dots around those I like to do the center first and then I reload paint on onto the toothpick and then dot around it. Okay, now for another added size, I think I'm gonna use the this one too, the pointy end of the pen. And I'm going to use the red and do a center dot and walk around these. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the yellow. This is saffron yellow, and I'm going to use the big pencil eraser. And then I'm going to go right in the center of these. Okay, now using my toothpick and the white, I'm going to walk some dots around these corner ones. Now with the pointy end of the pen, I'm going to use white. And I'm going to put a dot right in the center of each one of those areas. Okay, and the reason why I picked the yellow and the red is because I can mix them together and make orange. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this pushy top again with the orange. And I'm going to do a dot out right each one of those and then one in the middle with the big orange or eraser head again I'm going to use white going to do a big dot out from these. Okay, then I'm going to use the toothpick again. And I'm going to go around those marking dots with the orange that we just made. Now, using the pointy end of the pen, I'm going to come in with red. I'm going to do a dot right there in each of these. Still using this, I'm going to walk some more dots around these yellow ones, and I'm going to use white. Now coming in with the pencil eraser, I'm going to use the red, and I'm going to do a big red dot out from these that we just walked around.
Now I'm going to use the yellow and the pointy end of the pen. If you don't have a pen, you could use a pencil too. And you can even dull the end if you want it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to use the yellow and I'm going to walk dots around these. Okay, and I think I'm going to call that for the pattern. I'm not going to add any more to it. I'm just going to do my top dots. So now I'm going to use the same pointy end of the pen. And I think I'm going to do red dots on these white ones. Now I'm going to lighten up my orange paint. By that I mean I'm just going to add a little white into it. I'm going to use that with the pointy end of the pen and dot on those orange ones. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow. I'm going to lighten my yellow up. And now I'm going to dot on the yellow ones in the center here with that. And I'm going to use this end of the pen. And now using the same end of the pen, I'm going to use red and dot on those white ones. Okay, and now I'm going to add a little bit of white to my red and lighten that up. And I'm going to use this end of the pen again. And I'm going to dot on these red ones. And then I think I'm going to use this end of the pen, the writing end of the pen, and I'm going to dot in the center too. Like that. I like to just lighten the paint and do it on top like that because it gives it kind of a highlight. And that's what we made. I hope you enjoy this little project. If you do, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, like, and I'd love to hear any comments you have on that. So I will see you in a future video. Have a good one, everybody.